What up? It's your boy, Luke for Prez. Back in the mix. Got another video for you guys today. Uh, what I'm going to be discussing is exactly how to sell beats on BeatStars. I am in the process of scheduling the release of a new beat, and I figured that I would hop on the video here and uh, give you guys a little bit of the insights into you know how to actually take advantage of the BeatStars marketplace itself. So while you might know BeatStars as a beat selling platform that is frequented by you know many, many producers, there are also artists that use the platform to find new beats. So BeatStars has a pretty advanced search engine component built into the platform. And I'm gonna show you how best to take advantage of that search engine to give yourself the best chance of being found by the most people searching for tracks. For BeatStars, it really comes down to the metadata on this page that we're looking at right here, uh, which is the track metadata editor. And how you get to this page is, I'll open a new tab here, you go to upload, go to upload new, you choose a file, I'll just go ahead and choose this same beat that I'm working on just so you can see, click upload, then you can choose what type of file it is, so you just click production tracks and then you'll end up here, but that's not what we're trying to do because I already did that, so we'll go back to here. Basically, what you want to make sure that you have dialed are a couple different factors here that, that make up the metadata for a track. First of all, BeatStars requires that you utilize three tags um, to describe the beat that you are uploading. I use these tags to put in different artists that the beat potentially sounds like. So as you can see, I have three artists that I think this particular beat would be good for. As you continue to scroll down on this page, this section here where it says track details is extremely important and I think oftentimes overlooked. You want to make sure that you have the proper primary genre and proper subgenres both selected. You also want to take a little bit of time to think of what your mood is for the track and also include a secondary mood. Also, I see a ton of producers leaving BPM blank. That's definitely a key component that a lot of artists are going to be wondering. Also engineers that might be working with artists and might need to manipulate the track to some degree. So definitely include the BPM. And also the key, if you got some music theory knowledge or just some general understanding of what key your beat is in, definitely include that as well. At this point, your boy is a little shaky still with the, the music theory, so I actually leave that blank. But uh, one day soon, I will step my game up in that department and go back and make sure that that info is, is added. So if that's something that you are aware of, that gives you a, a key advantage. Huh, key advantage, feel me? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, when you're uploading beats. So make sure that that stuff is, is dialed in. Also, what you can do is utilize the title tab here. I see a lot of producers doing something like this. If you have bulk deals, then you can make sure people are aware of that in the title, or you can use this space to also put what type of beat it is, you know, um, so I, I would definitely consider doing something like that to your title just to increase the visibility and give people a better understanding of what it is that they're going to be clicking on. As far as the track artwork is concerned, I feel like this is something that a lot of people get bogged down with and spend a lot of time thinking about when... At the end of the day, I don't think you should overthink this at all. The goal of a thumbnail, whether you're talking about YouTube or BeatStars search or wherever, it just needs to be eye catching. If you can also have cohesive branding where all of your images look similar, perhaps they follow uh, the same color scheme, that's great. I think it, it matters less exactly what it is and matters more whether or not it's eye catching. Is it gonna get somebody to stop scrolling? 
that's the primary goal as long as you have that dialed i think there's a lot of different directions that you can go in in terms of what those thumbnails are it's up to you but don't overthink it and don't let it slow down your process just find something that's eye-catching if you can make it somewhat related to the track that you're uploading that's even better but again don't overthink it so why are these things that i've just gone over important well let me show you how the beat stars search feature works so this is the beat stars home page as you can see they have a, a search bar here and let's just go ahead and go with drake type beat let's see what happens when i search that boom so as you can see a number of different categories comes up first let's assume that we're looking for beats so we're going to click on tracks and now what you have are the search results for drake type beat and as you probably guessed there are billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of drake type beats on beat stars perhaps more drake type beats than anything else because he's the biggest artist in the world right so if you're uploading a drake type beat how is somebody going to find you amidst this giant sea of instrumentals well if you look over here BeatStars has really cool ways of dialing down searches so you can set a bpm range that you're interested in right let's just say whoa oh and it updates in real time that's pretty cool so uh, that's just a random range here but as you can see that's already narrowed it down significantly you can choose mood and you can choose you know whether it's just a beat or a beat with a chorus and things like that so if i'm an artist going to beat stars and i see all of these drake type beats before me that's going to be pretty overwhelming so chances are i'm going to want to dial it down by using these features and once you do that you have less beats to choose from and more likely if your beat falls into you know the selected categories here you have a better chance of your beat actually showing up from there it really boils down to what the beats called and what that uh, thumbnail looks like that's gonna raise your chances of somebody actually clicking on your beats and discovering your page on BeatStars. So as you can see, that's why it's so vitally important to have the metadata page dialed in and as accurate and specific as possible to make it easier on the artist. That's what you have to remember whenever you're uploading beats anywhere and you're attempting to sell licenses of those beats, you must remember the customer experience. What's going to make it easiest on the artist? What is going to give them the most information about your beat for them to determine whether or not it's something that they're interested in? The quicker you can get that dialed, you know, the easier it's, it's going to be to, uh, to get sales. Once you have all of that dialed, what kind of results can you expect? Well, I can't tell you across the board, but all I can tell you is my experience by doing this. I'm at a point now where I'm uploading anywhere from three to five beats a week to beat stars. And what this results in as of now is about five sales a month from the marketplace. So this is entirely separate from my website, AKA the Beat Stars Pro page. That's where the majority of my sales come from. That's where I am sending all of my paid and unpaid traffic to. It's this right here. All of my beats are present. Like I said, this is where the vast majority of my sales come from. However, just by uploading beats on a regular basis, and making sure the metadata is dialed like i said i'm getting about five sales a month strictly from people searching for beats within the beat stars marketplace and finding my profile uh which is this right here and that feels great it's a you know totally organic sale i didn't have to pay for that traffic and uh yeah so while it is a very very small percentage of my monthly beat sales you know it's it's definitely a start especially if you don't have a lot of money to devote to online marketing at this time it's even more important for you to get your beat stars metadata dialed so people can actually find you within the platform an added benefit that doesn't really translate into anything monetary at this point is i get a lot of followers on beat stars 
pretty much daily. I'm up to 6,000. I don't know where these people come from, but I can only imagine that it's from the, you know, the search feature within BeatStars because I'm not paying for any ads. That is actually an option that they have now. Uh, if you click on promote here, uh, you can pay for, I'm not going to go through the whole process right now, but you can actually pay for, uh, you know, placement on the BeatStars homepage or like if you see here, like who to follow, like it, 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 it'll say add next to their name. That's how you know. The reason why I don't really invest a lot of money in this, I actually have tried it. The thing is, I think that while there are artists searching on BeatStars itself for beats, the vast majority of BeatStars traffic is producers. That's certainly what it seems like. Obviously, I don't have the exact metrics in front of me, but I don't think it makes sense to pay to get your profile in front of just a bunch of other producers because they're not really going to be, uh, you know, interested in purchasing your beats, most likely, unless they're, you know, doing the, the Kanye rapper producer thing but it does result in a lot of followers I, I would imagine most of these people are other producers but um you know it looks nice if you're into those vanity metrics that's cool so that's just like an added benefit of having your metadata dialed and being more findable if that's a word on the beatstar search engine so that's really all there is to it at this point it is again a small portion of my monthly beat sales but it's still very important and this is something that I, I think will continue to ramp up as I continue to ramp up the, the posting frequency that I have. So again, to recap, have the metadata on point, have a thumbnail that is eye-catching, utilize the title of your beat to further advertise different features, whether you're saying what type of beat it is or promoting your bulk discounts available and then just post as often as possible. And that's really all there is to it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on this or if you have a video topic that you would like to see me cover going forward. I'm absolutely open to suggestions. If you haven't already done so, please like this video. Also consider subscribing if you find this type of content helpful. Um, yeah, hope everybody is uh, doing well out there, staying safe, staying healthy, and staying productive. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Luke for Prez, signing off. Peace.